Think back to your worst nightmare. The feeling of dark isolation and helplessness. The feeling that an evil force controlled your destiny. Perhaps we can compare these emotions with the terror that enclosed the people of Kenai. Their peace had been shattered by the domination of an evil demon named Demonicus. His long arms of decimation swept over the lands and burned all life in an inferno of slaughter and destruction. Yet even the worst nightmares offer some hope for survival. Kanai's fortunes lay in this stunning warrior of indomitable strength. His bravery was renowned throughout the land as he had once saved an entire world from similar destruction. But now his challenge was greater than ever before. The insurmountable ferocity of Demonicus was frightening even to our courageous hero. But a real man never shows his fear. And Adol was, in fact, a most gallant soul. He battled Demonicus with equal intensity in this horrific struggle to the death. The skies had darkened and the earth shook as Demonicus applied his brutal force and displayed his savage rage. There were to be no prisoners in this holy war of good over evil. Demonicus unleashed his awesome size and strength against our hero, but Adol's cunning wit allowed him to avoid and eclipse all of the aliens' fatal blows. There was more than just a miracle behind this savior of tormented lands. Who could fight such courageous battles and manage to pull victory from such impossible odds? Who was this strange raider of evil foes? His legend and the legend of this land are about to be retold. The adventure is in the spirit of the warrior, and the warrior is you. Go now, Adol, and seek out these dark forces that oppress and terrorize the innocent lives of Kenai. All righty. Good morning, everybody. How are we all doing today? Welcome to a, a very oddly timed stream. Um, I uh, messed up my own scheduling a bit, and I, I have a day off today that I... Well, I, I literally planned for. I, I intended to have the day off, but um, I had had plans for things to do, and those things uh, happening later. Anyway, um, we are doing uh, East 3. Uh, the the PC engine or Turbo Graphics 16, uh, as it's known in the Murka land. Um, you may have heard from the opening there. This is going to be a very rare case where we're playing a game with an English dub. Uh, this isn't like a original English dub game or anything like that. It's just uh, there isn't an undub, and this is probably the best version of the like uh, East 3, as it were, to play. Obviously, there there is the 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 remake of it, which we'll be doing uh, later down the line, which is like the the canonical version, I guess is, would be the way to put it. Uh, whereas the 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 original here is now like not canon, uh, but I was very curious to play through it anyway. That's that's the kind of thing I like to do. Um, do let me know if the audio is wonky because. Uh, there are, well, as I said, obviously there's the dub, but um, there's no subtitles, so there's going to be a bunch of dialogue that you can only hear. Uh, so if if the audio from the game is is too low, let me know. It it might need uh, a little more juice than usual. Um, I realize the music is is fairly loud, which that's the other reason, by the way, that we're playing the the PC Engine version is it has the CD audio. The that's, the, the, the music is mwah. the feeling that an evil force controlled your destiny. Perhaps we can compare these emotions with the terror that enclosed the people of Kenai. Also, th uh, this is mistranslated. Uh, of an evil demon named Demonicus. Is it still? Oh, this is clearly Toho. That's a bullet hell. Uh, it sort of is. Uh. Uh, let me. No, I quickly fix that shit. 
My bad. My bad. That's fixed. Thank you. Oh, that Toho wasn't a bullet hell. That was a fighting game. But uh, anyway. Um, Mr. Blonde in the 80s here. Generic fantasy man is actually um, Genos. Uh, not Adol. They miss translated the sequence so this this guy here like the one thing everybody knows about adol he has red hair so clearly he cannot be generic 80s blonde fantasy man and he isn't this is genos the it's basically just telling a backstory here um, basically a long time ago a giant demon terrorized the land and genos rocked up and saved the land as, as the guy saying genos not adol all of the aliens fatal blows there was more than just a miracle behind this savior of tormented land who could fight such courageous battles and manage to pull victory from such impossible odds? Who was this strange raider of evil foes? His legend and the legend of this land are about to be retold. At the retold The adventure bit. is in the spirit of the warrior. And the warrior is you. Go now, Adol. And seek out these dark forces now, to make things extra confusing. That last Adol is referring to the actual Adol. And now we also have almost three years had passed since Adol rescued the land of East from the Dark One. I probably didn't need to read that fast. Adol and his courageous companion Dogi were wandering the lands in search of adventure. Hell yeah, Dogi time! One day, they happened to hear a rumor about Dogi's hometown. They were told of a searing heat that had burned the land, uh, burned the prosperous fields of Kenai. town had been infiltrated by gangs of dark and eerie goons. As Adol listened to these atrocities, his blood raged and his adrenaline flowed. Adol's next adventure was upon him. one of the big reasons for playing this version is the, the CD uh, audio is very tasty. Hey, Adolf! Smell that fresh sea breeze? The ship is in top shape. We're ready to shove off. Oh shit, Adol's on a boat. Maximum 80s! As I said, there are reasons we're playing the PC Engine version.
Now, it's not 100% voiced, so you will have to do some reading. It is indeed a 2D side-scroller. Also, Adol speaks. Adol wasn't mute in the first two, he just didn't have, like, speech bubbles. He had implied speech. This, this, this is the main downside of the PC Engine version, is it... <laughs> ...achieves a level of power. So, uh, the, uh, narrator? The narrator's voice actor is actually pretty decent. Not so much elsewhere. <laughs> but yeah, as I was saying, like, the big, the big disadvantage I found of the PC Engine version is this, like, it, 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 it has parallax scrolling, but it, it's really, like, harsh. Like, credit to them for doing it. But Super Famicom, you ain't. Okay, so here's, uh, I said I'd bring these up where I know them. This is another mistranslation. The town, well, it's not even a mistranslation. I think they just changed it. Uh, the, the town is Redmont. It's, uh, for some reason it is, uh, Serena in this translation. Also, we need to fix up this text speed. There is a button to do that. There it is. Much appreciated that they have a, like, a fast... Uh... <laughs> all, all, all the saves from my when I was testing. But yes, uh, you were asking as well before. Yes, this is a, a side-scroller. Think uh, Zelda 2. The fast text speed is a huge improvement. Rip Roy. We do want to talk to NPCs. It is still a Falcon game, even if kind of primitive to maybe what we're used to from modern stuff.
nothing we can really do with that yet. Mostly because we need to use our money over here. Couldn't remember if you had enough cash to. Uh, but yes, we can. We can also acquire herb. You can only hold one herb at a time, and it's a full heal item. Effectively, a one-up. not want it on actually equipped because I could accidentally waste it. Two kind of attacks we can do. We can do the uh, crouching stab. We've got yumping attacks, but we've also got um, the old uh, DuckTales pogo well, it's not really a pogo, but down stab. I suppose Zelda 2 had the down stab as well, though. Monsters! They came out of nowhere! Mayor Grady is still trapped in the mine! Someone must rescue him! Who are you? Really? A miner called Harvey already went to look for Grady. But we haven't heard from him since he entered the mine. And now we have quest. Yeah, you can see that, like, the dub quality is quite variable. The narrator is pretty good, and th th this this injured guy not half bad. Dogi and his sister, oof. Sister or childhood friend, something like that. And yeah, the as I've said a couple of times now, one of the, one of the big reasons for going with the uh, the PC Engine version is the CD uh, the CD audio. Um, the the music is well, what you would expect from an East game, like very good. Very good. <laughs> it's a game I'm playing. Of course, it has a good soundtrack. It's kind of... Kind of my thing. Now, this is also a case of, uh, like, ack. You, uh, get pretty friggin' wrecked until you've got a couple of levels under you. So we're gonna, like... We're gonna kill things a bit at the start here for XP. We're already grinding. We're not even playing, like, a... JRPG style, it's a friggin' action game and we're grinding. And yeah, this is, again, <laughs> I'm gonna keep repeating myself, there's a reason we're playing the PC Engine version. The music is just fucking great. By hanging around near the entrance here, we can make use of the fact that you can heal by jumping outside.
spawns can get kind of aggressive, especially on the, like, airborne enemies. You get swarmed very easily. Ow. That's what I was saying about you, you just die very quickly uh, early on. Now it does have, like, it doesn't have heal on level up, but it does give you, uh, the extra health you get on level up. Holy swarm, Batman. Okay. Because it is like a 2D side-scroller, it does also mean a lot of the execution is then on me to not fuck up, which, oh boy, that's not a good place to be. That's right, you can do the, you, I forgot, you can just hold the button down and he does the, like, death chops. Jigen, how's it going? Hey, you starting? Man. I will say, beyond like the testing I've done, I'm not like super familiar with this game or anything. I've never like cleared it before. Um, I just did some testing to make sure it all works. Uh, now, I don't want to equip that yet because it starts draining our ring power, but, um... I believe that's a double, double attack damage ring. Basically just pop it on when we go to fight bosses. Jesus Christ, freaking bee swarm. Now, if you're if you were paying attention to the NPC dialogue earlier when I said pay attention to the NPC dialogue, you might remember Roy. Okay. Who was 
that guy. Mayor Grady is still in there somewhere. I tried to find him, but the mine is too big. Take this key to the storehouse, where you will find a hidden sword. Hurry! Only you can help the mayor. What is acting? How's it going? Hey, everybody's here. I, did, I didn't actually expect there to be many people watching because it's, it's such an odd time. Well, yeah, good. We're already dead. Good job. Yeah, the, and the dub for the the PC Engine version of one and two is is better. It does still have a save whenever you want. Uh, wait, but... Did I not... Save? Uh... <laughs> I had meant to save before going into that room, I just forgot. Good job, mate. It does have a save whenever you want mechanic. Off to a great start. Good job, mate. D did you post it already, Half? Post, post it quite early. That, that, like, legitimately is totally not a dog. spoil people until the uh, the product the final product is released on that one anyway death isn't so bad means we get to enjoy more of this music My sword. Yeah, because there's no war. Because there's no, um, like iframes, like you, you just take damage. Uh, very easy to get wrecked very quickly. Who are you? Get out of here immediately! What's going on here? Where's Grady? Oh, 
Oh, cool guy's an asshole. Wait, Afton? As they did get like some like some of the voices aren't bad like narrator the narrator is good um the one of the townspeople was was all right uh but yeah a lot of the people are mm-hmm <laughs> God dang it. This time I did save. Yep, we've uh we've gone over some of the uh uh some of the name changes already. We've gone over the whole, um, they've, they've mixed up Genos and Adol for the opening sequence, which makes things very, very confusing. Uh, there's also changing the, oh, God damn it. changing the main town's name, uh, from Redmont to, uh, Serena. We have healing, I'm intentionally not using it. Uh, I'm saving the healing until we get to the boss fight. I might even, like, if I can, I might get out and come back in so that we've got full health and healing for the boss fight. That might not happen. <laughs> we just took way too much damage. So I think the the bees and the ants only do one damage at this point, but when you've got four health. One damage is still painful. Oh, uh, we're gonna have to waste the heal. There's no way we're getting up here without taking damage. That ain't happening. I don't have that kind of skills. Got up there. All right, can't save any boss rooms. I think it's one K XP to level next. So like, God damn it! If I can kill like a couple of birds, we get a level up. Big if. I mean, this whole soundtrack is oops all bangers. the item button. Okay. 
for As I was saying, powering obviously drains our ring power to have the fucker equipped, but doubles our damage. Ankles off. Again, because like we we operate, the bosses and us sort of operate off the same rule. There's no iframes; you just kind of take damage. Uh, so things can just like death is is very uh, words pain, pain, pain. But East Run and Two is bump combat. And East, well, East 2 is, like, fireball combat. Yeah, the, like, if an enemy gets inside you, you're gone. That's, I mean, hey, that's, there we go, life advice. What, what, were, what did you play before this, uh, Jigen, just on a, like, Alcon front? The dra Dragon Knight? No, that's not Falcon. That's that's a series of Arrow Gay. Uh, shoot, I forget what their super early games are called. to avoid damage as much as possible because we have no healing and there's another boss in this dungeon. I'd rather not walk all the way back out for healing if I can avoid it. Swing my fists and you walk into them. It's odd that, like, the most damaging thing here are these freaking lava. La lava? Lava. There's probably lava in the game as well. It's not like a work of art graphically, but I like I, I quite like the way the game looks. It's an X eighty six hundred version. Oh 
bought the money. I'm guessing 2000 is our next. Yeah. No. Not gonna try to grind that out. Well, but I mean, part of the reason there was so many, like, port variants in Japan at the time is because the, like, the home PC market was effectively a console market, if you think about it. Um, like, home PCs were upgradable to an extent, but it wasn't like, like, uh, when you had, when you entered into, like, IBM and IBM compatible land, where things shared, uh, similar hardware, you, you had releases for e effectively different consoleized PCs. Because all the, like, the different PCs had different specs. I need to do this better. This is basically a DPS race. That, like, smidge of health that I'm missing isn't what's making the difference. I suspect it might be. Oh, I forgot about the... Thank you. I forgot about the powering. That will indeed make the difference. Also, yeah, sometimes... The, the spacing of the attack is a bit different, and you just don't get wrecked. Let me tap down to the statues. Not a, not a marathon, but we are doing, like, the, the, this is exactly what I had intended to use the East Games for, is, like, random, uh, streams. Especially the earlier ones. They are at least reasonably finishable in a single stream, depending on... Uh, how badly things go. 
like getting this cleared in a single stream is just going to come down to not dying too much, which, well, yeah. I don't know why for so many of these older, um, voiced games, uh, there was no, like, on-screen text to accompany the, the, the voice. It's, it's actually, like, a fairly common thing. This is sort of beyond where I poked about, so I'm not quite sure uh, the effects of everything at this point. So, Shield Ring, I'm going to assume, is either going to reduce incoming damage or nullify damage until you run out of ring juice. Ooh. Okay, it's actually a little bit warm. To put my fan on. Just give me a second. I've got a really nice, like, floor fan in my office here. Uh, only problem is, its lowest setting is, like, powerful. And then you put, like, if you ever put it up to max power, it's like, it's gonna blow you out the fucking room. yesterday and hasn't returned. Adel, I'd like you to go to the ruins and look for Pierre. I'm concerned about the safety of the village. If you see Chester, tell him that his sister Elena is very worried. Oh, I've forgotten to introduce myself. I'm Elena Studar. It's nice to meet you, Adel, but I'm sorry to burden you with my problems. Yeah, so the Al Alcano Ruins is another name change. Uh, it should be Il 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 Ilburn? I haven't played enough of them to say, Iman. That's the point of this. I've played the uh, Chronicles edition of 1 and 2, which I thought was absolutely fantastic. I really enjoyed them. So, so far, I will say East 1 and 2 I like.
Uh, from what I've read, the Super Famicom version is meant to be, like, the roughest of the, like, main versions. Oh, barring the original PC-88 version. We'll take Herb. Uh, the other version I was considering was the uh, Mega Drive version, um, but the Mega Drive version doesn't have the like the CD quality audio or the uh, the, <laughs> the bad voice acting, and it's got its own set of mistranslations. Like the herb in the um, the Mega Drive version is an arb, like it's it's misspelt. <laughs> Probably want to grab that chainmail. Definitely want to grab that chainmail. <laughs> I don't know if this game has cheat items like uh, East One did, where you could um, get some like items that you could sell for huge cash money early on. Um, I don't think that's the case. It doesn't feel like it's going to be the case with this game. Yeah, as I was saying, uh... Al Alcano, which is it's, it's just a wordplay on Volcano, is supposed to be ill burn. That's a cool background. As I said, th this is now beyond anything I've played when I was testing it, so I'm, I'm now going in, like, proper blind at this point. Um. Next level's probably gonna go, what, 3,000? Yeah. Oh boy. Off to a bad start. Okay, we're definitely going to need to grind a bit here. I'm going to need to do this a little more efficiently, I think. Oh my goodness, the pain. The pain! These, these boys are, like, paying out decent XP. It's just... Man, those fireball boys hurt. Holy shit. Couldn't even make one lap of the room. Yeah, no, I. I... I want like, the the other reason for using this is like if if I can make like a complete lap of the room, we got free healing just sitting outside. Did, I did read comments that were like, the, the dungeons are a little ridiculous in that you're basically expected to grind uh, every time you set foot into a new dungeon just because of the, the like power level difference. This music is 80s as fuck. 
This, this feels like montage music. That's a good point. Uh, mm, uh ring. <laughs> what regenerates ring power? Is it just killing things? Because I'd rather not, like, burn a bunch of ring power that's going to take me forever to regenerate. I think I'd rather conserve ring power for boss fights. It's also like, I just need to get good as such. Like once I, you know, start feeling out the timing for things. If, if we hit cap, it's it's maybe worthwhile to. But it, it, the, the shield with the shield ring, like in a perfect world, I shouldn't be getting hit. Oh my god! The fucking Simon Belmondo over here, fucking man with a whip in a castle. What? This is the less spawning birds? Fuck me! I thought these spawns were a bit aggressive! <laughs> I see, if you were... I guess, yeah. Like if, you, if you found a good spot, yeah, you could just, like... Hold up an attack for days. One frame of step. Every, everything else has got in between frames, and then there's the up step is just one frame. <laughs> is is the music here intentionally montage music? Do they intend for you to grind here? <laughs> I guess they'd intend for you to grind everywhere. What the? Hey, Zeus! Holy crap! Hey, 
Hey, Aron, how's it going? I don't... I don't think they hurt you while they're in the ground. I think they only hurt you when they come out. God damn it. That was fucking mental. Hey. Made it past chapter four. That means you've... You've beat what I consider probably the worst boss in the game. Especially if you're on just, like, base new game. The chapter four final boss is... That's something special. Oh. Those those little ground chaser fireball fuckers are a evil design i like it because it's it's basically yump and they get you don't yump and they don't get you but because they're ground chasers it's like your instinct is to yump The other problem is combining them with those bastards where you have to yump to get over their fireballs. Hmm. I want to explore further back that way. There was like stairs and such. That might be a little difficult. We do have herbage. Ah, <laughs> dodge fireball, jump straight into him. May have to use our herbage. The only problem with using our herbage is the only way to get more herbage is to... <laughs> uh, is to go back out. Oh, that's nasty. Uh, how do I even, like, deal with that? I 
I wonder if I can do like a dropping stab through scene transition and take it out as I come through the... Hmm. No, we can go forward. We've got a herb and we got we got um, shield rings, so I think we can get through there. But this seems maybe we're not supposed to go this way just because of that. Um, this seems unintentional. Not not sorry, not unintentional. This seems intentionally cruel. This this seems like actually evil. the shield ring if we can't alright that time it just didn't hit us or does is it the, the shield rings half damage effect does that cause like you to take zero damage I would have expected you to always take at least one We may need to just arb here anyway. Uh... Oh, hello. What are you? Mole shield. So it's definitely worth coming down here. A shield upgrade out of it. it. There isn't really like a way I can like check the. I'm curious. Okay, so we're at 90 def. I'm just just for my own sake of interest. <laughs> Five. Five whole defense. Well, I'll, yeah, Evan. Survivability, survivability. I shouldn't complain. Actually, with the way the math works in this game, five extra defense could be the difference between, like, making enemies deal just one damage. Oh, story time. Brother Pierre, you must tell me what you want here. I seem to have lost my way. No need to lie, good brother. You're looking for the statue, aren't you? What the? I think I heard someone up there. You! You were the swordsman I saw in the Tigray mine. Didn't I warn you not to show your face around here? You! Come with us! Well, it's a little early in the game to be getting captured, isn't it? Is he going to spot us into a volcano? Nothing to do with you or Elena. Now, goodbye forever. Holy shit, he fucking spotted us into a volcano. Dude, that's sick. Hopefully that guys actually get to like Kick the good guy into a fucking volcano!
Oh dear. Th this is going to be a spicy meat to ball. Are these asshole birds in the mine in East One? Teleporting phoenixes. kind of stuck on having to use the herb at this point. <laughs> yeah, I, I think we are going to have to arb at this point. I do like that the... Let me guess. Death? <laughs> We need, like, a lava ring or something. Um. Yeah, I think we use the herb. I was hoping to conserve it for, like, boss fights, but... If we don't even get to the boss fights, <laughs> what's the point of conserving it? One thing I definitely miss from the uh, later iterations, well, East 1 and 2, the versions of East 1 and 2 that we played, is the um, uh, the monster scanner. I, I just, I like seeing the monster names and stats. Arb? Hey! Alright, now I don't feel so bad about using the herb. Wait, is that an infinite herb? Hmm, let's not... We will consider that herb is there and can potentially return to herb. But uh, whether it's actually infinite or not... Hmm. Oh! Good, good design says it would be an infinite herb because you're stuck in this mine. Like, you can't get back out of the town from here. And, like, there's no monsters in that room, so it's effectively a safe room. Resident Evil. Before Resident Evil. Which I don't remember. Did Sweet Home have safe rooms? I don't think so. I should, I should do Sweet Home on stream one day. I think that'd be... That'd be really interesting. Sweet Home being a horror RPG on the Famicom that uh, is based on a horror movie that is then the inspiration for the original Resident Evil.
I wonder if that room with the lava spurts is gonna be like a just put the shield ring on and go for it kind of situation. I'm just intentionally trying to get to the next level uh, at the moment. Uh, because I, we, we have this... Let's, let's find out. Potentially infinite... Uh, it's a good design sense. We, you would have it as an infinite... Uh, that... I think it is indeed an infinite herb. Uh, You guys talking about lunch, as I was saying before, I'm, I'm surprised there's so many people watching uh, at this point. Like, we have 15, 15 people watching in the middle of a day on a Thursday. I would not have expected that. Not that I'm ever free on the middle of a day Thursday, it's only because of uh, circumstances that I happen to have today free. Basically, I got, I got the dates mixed up. I thought uh, Front Mission 2 Remake would be live last night, so the plan was to, like, go super ham on, on Front Mission 2, uh, but it's, it's tonight. And so I've effectively got, like, a whole ass day free, so, like... video games go. The other thing I was contemplating was just playing some, like, Eroge I had in my backlog that I wanted to check out. I was like, nah, let's, let's do some more East. That wouldn't have been streamed, though. I suppose, yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a good way to, like, background noise the work away, for sure, especially with, like, the East soundtrack. Holy respawns, Batman! Alright. My theory is just gun it with the shield ring and hope. That boss music? We can just leave the boss room. <laughs> right, where you at? Maybe a little over prepared for that boy. We get a free heal from killing bosses, that I appreciate. Um, what do we... Hmm. 
where, where are we going from here? Unless, does, does the statue we picked up, like, allow us to lava walk or something? Is this a game I should be having an instruction manual for? Give me a moment, I'll see if I can find one. Uh... Got Turbo Graphics. Has someone uploaded manual? And Manuel? Yeah, well, the, the other way led into lava. Hey, Manuel! Anyone else is interested? It's not the best quality scan, but it's it's a scan. doesn't have any ent entries on the uh, statues. It has a bunch of other stuff actually which is useful. Uh, the magic items list. Uh, I'll keep that open. Have you tried these other Turbo Graphics games? East Book 1 and 2. Oh, yes. Yes, we have. What is this like? Sherlock Holmes. Magical Dinosaur 2, what? East Run and 2 makes sense. Put like good stuff, like Bonk's Adventure. That's a fucking great Turbo Graphics game. That's supposed to... No, if you're playing East 3, surely you'd get along with, with Bonk. It's a, another platformer. It's like the Turbo Graphics game. It's the one thing people know it for is Bonk's. Back's a little trickier than getting there. Maybe killing the lava snake lowered the lava, possibly, or the statue might lower the lava. That's that's what I was after, Manuel. Oh, no, hey, it's not one of the statues, it's just Stone Idol. Okay. Always good to have Manuel, though, especially for old video games. Because uh, often there is, like, actually important information in the Manuel. Ealing herb grows in volcanic ash. Actually, that's kind of legit now that I think about it, because it is... Like, if you, if you think it... Obviously, they didn't think this far. But, like, if you think about it from a geological perspective, like, what, what, uh... 
makes fertile land over, like, the long term is volcanic activity, because it blows all the, um, the minerals and shit into the surrounding, uh, like, land, and it, it ends up resulting in fertile soil. It's why, like, Australia is mostly unusable, because there's no like, volcanoes or, like, tectonic plate action. So it is it is just dead land with n nothing. See ya, checks. Take it easy. This has been Geology with Bear. Please enjoy. I love Australia. It's like 95% uninhabitable want, wants to murder you, and yet here we still are. Okay, yeah, that is exactly, the stone idol did exactly what I thought it would. It's turned off the lava. I was, I was hoping there might have been something in Manuel that said, like, stone idol kills lava. Oh, a stone, a stone idol, a winged idol with special powers. Thank you, that that does not help so much. Well, eh, eh, it'd be like hot as fuck, but if you like one, f like like foot to foot, like like hop sprinted across it. You might be okay. Like, what what armor are we wearing? Chainmail? It uh, depends on our boots. If we're not wearing metal boots, we might be okay. Um, but like, if you're wearing like leather boots, I'd be worried about that just sticking to the surface. You'd you'd have to gun it. You'd you'd want absolute minimum feet time on the the rocks. <laughs> Speaking of Australian stuff, it'd be it'd be like uh, going on super hot um, sand or or like a tarmac. Tarmac would be better better As asphalt. Uh, road when it when it gets sticky and 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 yeah if you if you take it slowly your shoe gets stuck whereas if you sort of gun it you can kind of pull it off all right Here we are, considering the physics of exploring a volcano, an active volcano. Yeah, exactly! Yes? 
The fire dragon Girin has been slain. What? I'll be there immediately. Jester, I don't see how that little boy can give you such a hard time. I'm very sorry. Yeah, it's 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 cheesy nineties dub. That can't end well. It could be some kind of mechanism. I think this is the way to find the statue. I remember a story my brother used to tell me. He would talk of a flying monster that lived in Alcano ruins. A monster that guarded a magical statue. Oh, lovely. I am the one who brought you here. I can't let you face this danger alone. What? What are you going to do? You're just going to turn yourself into an escort quest, girl. I don't need that on my head. I already dealt with escort quests in East 1 and 2. I assume this will come out on like the other side of the uh... looks familiar that's cool I like that this is like they're, 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 you can see where Falcom came from this is why I wanted to do these this is really good because they, they've still got their flair for attention to detail all the way back at the beginning Like, they didn't have to have all this here. They could have just locked the door behind you and said, go forward. But, like, I don't want to play with those guys right now. Be being able to, like, revisit the, the story rooms, that that's really good. on the other side of this door for sure. I'm kind of griffin, I'm guessing. It's not a griffin, that's a fucking dragon! That's several classes of monster up. It looks like I could get him into a position where I could give him the like the rapid up stab if we sort of got lucky with his positioning. I I assume so. The the story was all like there's a there's a guardian beyond.
Oh, we just need to feel out its 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 pattern yet. I think. Um, also, make use of the power ring, or possibly the shield ring if if it's just too much. I think I I think if we could bait him into a position where we could like stab him in his balls while he's uh, while he's hovering above the okay can't quite give him the old old stabberoonie. Yeah, exactly! Hit him in the vulnerables! One in a million chance might just work. Stick him in the vulnerable vulnerables. But they they thought about it though. You can't stick him in the vulnerables. You've actually got to stab him in the chest. So credit to it. You can't just you can't just give him the old circumcision. Statues. Text blipped away a little too quick there. What happened? I missed it. Dang.
8k for the broadsword. 12k for the banded armor. 6k for the shield, yeah. Hmm. There's also uh the uh lady that gives us herbs sells other stuff as well. Let's see how much they cost. Because I think the what they do is listed in Manuel here. Mirror stops enemies' motion for a period of time. Amulet kills all enemies around you, but only has three charges. Necklace has a mysterious power that is yet unknown. Whoa! <laughs> we ain't getting that one yet. this with you, young'un. I hope you will find it useful. Uh, from what I'm aware, it freezes all enemies on screen. Time stop. It's, it's like the clock from Castlevania. But again, generally speaking, like, you've got better uses of your ring power. Un unless, like, maybe if if we hit, like, a point where we're getting massively swarmed, I could, I could see it being potentially useful, but not, uh... Because the thing is, like, stopping enemies... If, if we're getting swarmed by, like, a shitload of flying nasties, I could see it being useful. Um, but... Otherwise, you kind of want the enemies coming to you so that you can bop them. One hundred strength, and then if we switch to the abroad sword, ooh, that's okay. Thirty extra strength. That's a significant power increase.
Alright, so we need to go back to the, the Tigre mines and go in that other door. Um, before we do that, however, we've been going for two hours, so I'm just going to take a short break here, and then we will uh, we'll take another run at the mines. Uh, I will be back shortly. Um, oh, anyway.
All righty. Now, I'm going to assume the monsters in the mine haven't changed, at least on the opening floor. So we'll just sort of fly down to the, the door in the bottom. zero with how much defense we have now, but my theory was you have to take a minimum of one damage and that does indeed seem to be confirmed. music. And here was me thinking we were, like, kind of over-leveled. Holy shit! One hit we basically exploded. idea what the crystal is about. Okay, I think you can you, I think you can stab him in the diddlers. Yeah. I think. Hmm. The positioning on them is a bit uh a bit nasty. Yeah, well, it's, I guess, new dungeon area. I don't want to, like... Like, the next level's not till 20k XP. I don't want to... Like, XP isn't that efficient here, so I don't really want to grind right now.
the input timing for the jump is a little tricky. It's awfully weird. Um, what is that noise? This must be the legendary curse. Yeah. This information would have been useful earlier. Show me the tablet that was in that chest. The legend is this. A devil called Demanicus once reigned over this land. All who opposed him were exterminated. One young man was skillful enough to rise above the chaos and seal away Demanicus by using the power of the statue. But Demanicus never died. He lives on, even now. I never imagined he could return. Hmm. But I mean, like, if if we're collecting the statues that he's sealed in, isn't it technically us that's causing him to return? Question mark? But yes, that's that's the opening sequence. I, oh, I don't know. I'm just guessing. Depends, I guess? If previous hero man couldn't kill it. I don't know, maybe we need some, like, super demon killing juice. Hey! Big armor, nice. Plus 20 defense, nice. Did, was plate available in the shop? Did we just save ourselves having to purchase the plate? That kind of works out. You know what would be real handy is the heel ring. Does that even exist in this game? Getting back out of here is going to be a right pain in the ass if we have to. Ah, good old Castlevania stairs. Get wrecked.
What fucking clever clogs trying to fucking terrain hype me. Dang it! Not actually. Is it just like a freaking pixel perfect jump or something? Might be. sure if it's like actually impossible or if it's just pixel perfect. Oh, good point. I guess, yeah, we can literally just save anywhere, can't we? It respawns enemies. You suck, game. It's very close. It's, it feels like it's the way forward as well, because I can't really see any other way, like, to go as such. And here's the thing with, like, old games had, like, required pixel-perfect jumps. Not often, but it did, it did occur that in old games you'd end up with, like, legitimate uh, pixel-perfect jumps. Twenty K was the next level. Oh, thirty K. There isn't a better like vantage point. Okay. That, that was the answer, was just better vantage point. Oh, 
Boss room. Alright, I'm gonna assume we're gonna need to heal up for it, but... What the... Fuck? Some kind of living crystal? It looks like he has a mad wide opening if we just get in there. I wonder if he can freeze his bullshit with the time ring. No. I was curious if having the uh, the herb equipped automatically used it on death. It does not. What the? What? What? What the fuck is going on? What? What? Is this... Is it bugging out or is it intentional? Technically, it can help you sort of avoid some damage. This is... Oh, okay, this is gonna be kind of tough.
Diego. The timing gets kind of crappy with the like the falling ship and the red orb. Okay. It, it, it's pretty intimidating at first, but then you sort of... Once you understand what's happening, it's not so bad. Oh boy, if we have to walk back out of here, that's gonna... That's gonna take some doing. The next bit of defensive gear was either eight or ten thousand. I don't know if it's worth to grind it up to 10k. It's not exactly like fast grinding in here.
You walk me out of the easy bit. All right, I'll I'll take it at least. We could like skip a stage of the shield and go straight to the No, wait, we did, we did use our arm. Come back, come back, come back, back. Oh, what the hell? Oh! That. Ah, Manuel! Manuel! Stores ring power, okay. Worth taking note of. with us. Everything will be ours once we make him return. Because I am a kind man, I will include you. I promise you that if you give us the statue, half of the world will be your kingdom. <laughs> Doesn't that tempt you? You must be kidding. Listen to yourself, man. And you call yourself a king? Too bad, Grady. I was sure you could be a powerful leader. But now you dare to oppose me. We will have the statue. If you refuse to cooperate, your villagers will be held responsible. Clear out of my way! <laughs> Boosh! was King Maguire of Valestine Castle, my boy. The king himself has finally come to threaten me. I'd better tell you everything, Adel. This is becoming very serious. Listen carefully. Oh, time. An evil being called Demanicus once dominated this land. He was locked away by a brave warrior. Now, King Maguire is trying to unleash Demanicus and use his evil power to conquer neighboring lands. You possess three of the four statues once used to put Demanicus away. King Maguire worried that you will find the fourth statue and banish Demanicus once again. To the north on Mont Seco lives an old hermit. He knows many legends and maybe more about the statues. 
I'm sorry to get you involved in this, my boy, but with this injured leg, well, you see how it is. Take this letter to the hermit. He may help you. Good luck, young Adel. He does actually have, like, a leg in a cast. Again, nice, nice bit of detail. Curious to see like how efficient the money is in the next like the opening area of the next dungeon. Because um, I would like to get that big shield. Really, like, one of everything would be nice just for completion's sake, but... Skipping a tier for gear is, uh... Nice. What? <laughs> that confused the shit out of me! Because of the way the trees are, are layered, I didn't realize we were standing on the rocks. Although we we're like just fucking hovering in in midair, I just my brain didn't interpret that right. The tree, the trees are in the background. Eight 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 four. Alright, that's pretty decent gold, but also, ow. Very inefficient grinding. And very painful. but you can sort of, like, set them off and kind of avoid damage. Definitely want that upgraded shield. Fifteen extra defense, so that's not bad. Skip the level of shield. 
the uh, the next armor was 12k, so it's gonna take a while because we ain't got shit now. <laughs> we broke. The music in, in general in this game has just been, like, fantastic. It's, it's another oops all bangers. This, this, this series is going to be worth playing just for the music alone. Um, I can say that, though. Like, that's, 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 that's devaluing it, because, like, I've, I've really enjoyed everything we've played so far. East 1, 2, and 3 thus far. I will... I, big ol' asterisk on that. It could certainly turn into a pile of bullshit if the, like, final dungeon or whatever is just a huge pain in the dick. That's always a possibility. You can definitely like, ruin a game by, by, uh, having the, uh, final dungeon be too much, it depends, like, it, it, this, unfortunately, or, not unfortunately, but, th this does feel like it has the potential to, uh, go extreme bullshit on me. played the, the Super Famicom version to compare, but uh, I really like the music thus far. It seems like the answer to these guys is just go far. Oh my god. Second, sorry, things are going buzz. Yeah, new area, uh, difficulty spike as to be expected. Nothing, nothing unusual there. I just, like, yeah, I'm trying to pull something else up. Sorry. <laughs>
Sorry about that. This is straight up called Cave of Evil. Mountain of Evil, Cave of Evil. And this is where the Hermit lives? Like maybe he should pick a better, better place to hang out. All right, those bees that spawn more bees, they're a problem, I don't like them. the mother bee seems to be like killable in a reasonable amount of chops it's just oh that's the kind of thing that can really get out of control Bad using the herb this early, but holy crap! Can I like safe farm these rock guys here? Because, like, okay, it's not safe. They spawn underneath you, which is rough. That's what I was looking for, the next level up. Assume it's gonna be, okay, 40, 40k, uh, all right, fair enough. I thought it was gonna be 50k. Ponder the future. I see. Those from Valestine Castle are seeking the ancient statues. I know one of the statues is hidden here in the caverns of Mount Seco. Legend says it is protected by a powerful force. It is said that the beast which dwells atop these mountains holds powerful magic, a talisman to help enter the cavern. Edo, my child, you are unprepared. Carry this sword with you into battle. Oh, thank you. Sadness. Wait. Oh, that's a long way back. That's a lot of kills back. That's 5k plus XP back. Damn it. Ah. 
<laughs> I wasted the herb. Why did this fight? Actually, I've got a new plan. Field ring and gun it. Need a little bit more efficiency on the gun it. Now we just conserve the herb and go here for free heals. Adel, how did you get here? Dogi, is this your companion, Adel? It is fate that we meet now. Come in, my children. We must ponder the future. He's not bad, voice actor wise. I see. Those from Valestine Castle are seeking the ancient statues. I know one of the statues is hidden here in the caverns of Mount Seco. Legend says it is protected by a powerful force. It is said that the beast which dwells atop these mountains holds powerful magic, a talisman to help enter the caverns. Edo, my child, you are unprepared. Carry this sword with you into battle. Probably don't really need to grind more than that on here now that I think about it. Like the rest of it's just going to be sort of progression as we move through the dungeon. Look at it's it's not inefficient. I give you though, it's pretty quick XP. not gonna push it all the way to like 40k but we get a little bit more just to give us a bit of a head start on the XP. Especially since these guys are relatively easy killing. 
and there's a free heal point right here. booster of XP. What hell awaits us new? Uh, hmm. Am I... Is, is it just decoration or am I supposed to do something with it? I'm glad I decided to get that bigger shield, though. Oh! Boss fight? Oh, I see. Stop.
Oh, I see. Okay. That's a lot of foosh. <laughs> what? <laughs> Fucking tail swipe insta game? Probably do that such that I don't need to use the herb, but I'm gonna just use it anyway. Hold it. Don't move. Oh no. It's you again. Give me those statues. No. We are victims of the curse of Demanicus. Now we are trapped down here together. <laughs> All right, I'll tell you. A year ago, everyone in my village died. Murdered by that king. Right before my eyes, my friends, neighbors, and parents were butchered. One after another. My sister Elena and I were the only survivors. I started working at Bellestine Castle. I was planning to avenge my people when I discovered the plans to re-invoke the curse of Demanicus. King McGuire underestimates the power of the curse. It can destroy Valestine Castle itself. And when it does, I will have my revenge. They will be destroyed by their own ambitions.
Hey, did you hear something? Ogi? Esther, is that really you? It's me, Dogi. Dogi? Chester, you've changed. Ten years ago, you were a man with many dreams. You used to tell me how you were going to make the land of Kenai the greatest in the world. And now look at you. I want you to stop working for King Maguire and Valestine Castle, Chester. Then maybe... Things will be like they used to be between us. Doggy, forgive me. Master, thank you for everything. Be at peace, Doggy. Remember me and return when you are in these lands. Well, Adel, we must leave these cursed mountains. Music's changed, yeah. Something's definitely wrong. Jedi, what happened? The town was attacked. All the villagers have been taken hostage. They're being held in Valestine Castle. What? Adel, only you can help them. Go, rescue the villagers. But take this ring with you. It is a parting gift from our master. Hey, the heel ring. I wonder what the efficiency on that is. Does everyone include the blacksmith? Because that would be unfortunate. It is gonna bug me not having the, like, full set of stuff, but we're not, like, so flush with cash that I just want to blow it on gear that I'm literally not going to use. Was that cheap? Right, we got everything but the fifty grand amulet. Give him the statues, he will kill all of the villagers. Adel, my boy, you fought very hard for this village, but as mayor, I have to make sure the people are safe. I have to ask you to give the statues to King Maguire so that the villagers will be spared. You can fight him later. <laughs> You are a brave man, young'un. I trust your decision. Please try your hardest.
I wonder if the castle is the, uh, the last area. Like, there, there isn't really anywhere left on the map to go, except maybe that island in the middle of the lake off to the right. Um, I don't know. I guess we'll see how we go. Whether it, I, I don't know whether it's structured the same as like East One Two, where it had like a mega final dungeon. Because we've got we've got all four of the the MacGuffins for this, so it feels like we're ramping up for that uh, kind of shenanigans. Mind you, we're only I just looked down. We're only at like the three hour mark, so. The, the, the expected time on this game was like six hours, so it could indeed turn out that this is monstrously huge. That's kind of cool. Boy, that's some seriously screwy lad. I've uh, worked out a strategy. Assuming that's just a stage hazard. Just. Oh my! Woo! More than just a stage hazard. Wondering if you have to crawl or if you can time it right and just like get the regular scooch. Again, indeed, time it right. I wonder, are we operating off of, um, Prince of Persia rules? We are! 
the spikes aren't deployed, they don't hurt. When they are deployed, they do hurt! Unfortunate place to save. Seems like the old crouch and stab him in the knees trick is going to be pretty effective here. The down stab input is very awkward is the only problem. I feel like I'm almost save state cheating at this point. level is probably 20 
wanted to go back to the save anyway. So lower and upper. Well, <laughs> okay, I guess we ain't going that way. Boys are painting a butt. Oh, dang it. Someone played Zelda 2 and went, Yeah, those horse knights, let's have them. They aren't frustrating as fuck. The, the, the staircase movement speed is, well, um, you move very fast on the stairs. This was not a good place to save. We can, so, hang on. Is the ring power is maxed out. Might as well pop the heal ring. Train a bit of a ring power so that we're not wasting gained ring power as such. And this way it can top us off. Spears count as well. That makes well, it doesn't make sense, but it makes sense as such. I just realized that's that's a clever trick. It it doesn't uh it doesn't reload the music when you're loading a save, like, for an area that is already in. It probably runs a check. Uh, well, definitely runs a check. But, um, that's, that's actually, like, surprisingly well thought out, like, programming-wise, because that saves a whole bunch of load time. What am I doing? Literally just established that you can't do that. That was cruel. Oh, 
Oh, upstairs swinging. Hey, the battle shield. Plus 15 extra defense, not bad. What is... I assume it's never brought up because it would sort of be meta considerations, but like... How does Adol's gear get lost and then end up everywhere else? Boat, I guess, actually. Every time he, he boat goes bad, he loses all his shit. This is good as fuck. That's a boss room. I hope it's not a touch it and run kind of fight. Okay, okay, uh, I can see where this is going. Mm, the positioning is going to be a bit tricky for me, though. There is a safe spot. It's it's just kind of tight. Like pixels tight. <laughs> Cuz 
because you've got to you got to stay back far enough to not help cop the the hit from the the mini mace, but uh, be not too close in as to start just taking body damage from him. I don't want to, I really don't want to use, like, items on this guy. Positioning is just tight. Like it's it's not that it's 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 not like it's it's not like a quick reaction bullshit pattern. It's just very tight on the like you you've got pixels worth of space to work with basically. Slightly mushy D pad. Means if I roll my finger a little too far on the down arrow, it becomes down left and down right. Which means I just walk face first into him and die. where I'm having the most difficulty. <laughs> I'm also, like, going way too far away from him.
Yeah, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta keep reasonably close to him so that you're not having much distance to cover. Um, again, unfortunately, the mushy D-pad. Not helping. That said, I don't know, maybe, maybe the, the Turbo Graphics had mushy D-pad. Hard to say. I've never played one. This does absolutely feel like the right strategy. It's just getting the positioning right. Probably like five good DPS rounds or six mediocre DPS rounds. was sort of working. I just sort of got the positioning mix, mixed up. Messed up. Oh, no, that's not. Uh, actually, staying crouched the whole time might be better. Requires execution consistency. And I ain't got none of that. to back off once I've got him to the wall.
now I'm getting the spacing wrong. Almost. Dang it. It's not really trial and error, like, I know exactly what I need to do, it's not, like, it's not trial and error, it's just execution. Like, we know what needs to happen, it's just the positioning is so tight. Like I said, definitely doable. It just the the positioning was Oh shit, wasting the ring. Yeah, it, it, I didn't want to use consumables because if this is like running off how previous East games work and this is a huge like mega final dungeon. I want to hold on to my, like, consumables, uh... Uh... Jesus. Uh, I want to hold on to my consumables. Well, the thing, like, I could use the herb, but that would be a huge waste. I can also, like, uh... We have the thing that restores ring power that has like three chugs. So I could have used ring power for healing. Uh, but I don't want to waste the like three potential ring power ch chugs because maybe we need it for like a really nasty boss. Because that one was like we could deal with him. Uh, we just needed to get the like. It's all needs execution, and you know, the potential of doing a boss fight perfectly is on perfect execution, but the required perfect execution to beat that guy was not that bad. You can always, like, beat a boss perfectly and expend no resources, but how viable that is. In this case, I like, I felt that it was, it was quite viable to, like, 
perfect that boss. I'm gonna assume the uh, red armband gets us past Mr. Statue. Okay, I guess level 16 is max level, since uh, XP for it is FFFF. Good old 65, 535. The question is, are we going the right way or the wrong way? Because there was a set of stairs further down. Only problem here is this is a long way back.
Um. Oh, shit. Uh. I'm gonna have. I'm gonna go back and inspect those stairs. Cause that's a boss fight. health pointlessly. Okay. The stairs are absolutely worth inspecting. Extra 15 defense on that, yeah, nice. Heal up using the heal ring and use a charge on our uh, ring potion. Gave even less that time, ouch. Hey, uh, Seth, how's it going? Decent, like it, it's just gonna be basically a like a spastic chop them as fast as we can, kind of. was indeed the max. Area. Adol, look out! I 
was so worried about you. I know you told me to wait, but I had to come for you. This man was going to attack you. So you are Adel. I've heard of the troubles you gave Chester. I see. But who needs King Maguire? Step back! What the heck? Okay. Maybe you're right. It's too easy. Adel scarred from having to do escort quests in the previous two games, so it's just like, just stay here, please. Don't get yourself killed. strategy in mind. The only problem is like powering. Got like no ring juice left. Ah. Yeah okay. I've definitely got a strategy in mind. It's just gonna be getting the positioning for it. it's gonna be a bit tricky. Especially with like how little charge is left in the power ring. He's not dead.
I'm gonna assume we probably need the blue armband for whatever's ahead. Probably work like the uh, the red armband in it that it disables some sort of barrier. Oh god! Croc Towel! Oh dear. This is... In... Uh, I assume so, crew? I don't know. Uh, the plan is to go till the end? Depends on, on how long the end takes. Gitterman or uh, Medusa Heads, either would be bad. Gun? Ah, uh, now I think. Oh, fair enough. Um, yeah, I, I, I don't know how long this until we're done. As I said, uh, given given these some of these boss fights have been getting pretty spicy, it might it might be a while before we're done yet. I'm assuming it's meant to be maybe like a crossbow, not a gun. But with that kind of rate of fire... Definitely the correct call. I believe so, Sion. Uh, that should be the case. Yeah. 255 strength, 255 defense, 255 health, uh, 65, 535 XP. We are maxing up those variables. We've, de we've definitely got to be getting towards endgame since we've run out of stats to acquire. Having to work back is unfortunate. Hopefully it's not, uh, not too rough. Realize there's not really much reason to fight things now. Oh, ring power, I guess. We still need ring power.
Maybe I shouldn't be trying to jump off of it. Oh, instead use the proper platform. Each, each kill is one ring power restored. As you have probably gathered by this point, the, uh, no, we'll bother. the ring power is pretty dang important because it allows us to power the power ring, which is what allows us to kill bosses in half the time because it literally doubles your damage. single swig left of our ring power restoring potion, but the uh, said potion doesn't seem to be... Oh, dang it. it. It seems to be very variable. The first swig we took off, it restored like 50 ring power. The second swig we took off, it restored like 30 ring power. It's only meant to have three swigs. I was kind of hoping each would restore like 100 ring power. We might not even get to 100 ring power restored in total. Room? No? It's a small clock tower. Alright. Oh, bell tower! They're really trying with the. Like, it, it feels like the, the game engine is not really designed to support these kind of like moving platform play, but they're, they're still going for it. So, credit to them. This is pretty cool. Okay. 
Oh, ah, that's not what I meant to do. Oh, shit. Uh, all right, if we do that, we'll be fine. Well, fine-ish. I got, I got some theories I want to try. Domenica sleeps again. This human form is no longer necessary. If I get the statues, I'll have absolutely nothing to fear. I'm gonna cheese him. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm gonna try to cheese him if if I can pull it off. How quickly does the front ring drain? Okay, the front ring drains very quickly. I wonder if you can, like, leave the room and come back in after he's done his speech, because I'd like to save without having to... It looks like he turns into a, um... sarcophagus. Oh, nope, you definitely cannot. Bang. I do it well. Hmm. This might work. Domenica sleeps again. This human form is no longer necessary. If I get the statue, sort of intentionally take damage jumping through him to, to avoid the uh, the lightning attack. And then just try to not get hit by any of the other attacks. Yeah, I think this is possible. It's just a matter of not getting hit by the other stuff. It's, it's a shame that, like, he's got unskippable cutscene. Domenica sleeps again. This human form is no longer necessary. If I get the statues, I'll have absolutely nothing to fear. Oh, I it has occurred to me, actually. We, we do have an option that we haven't tried yet. The amulets. It didn't pay out a lot of damage, but it's some damage, I guess. Alright. We can, we can save the amulet till towards the end of the fight. If I feel like it's going to go well, we can, we can like, blast him down with it.
Yeah, I definitely think this can work. It's just a bit fiddly. I need to get my positioning better because I am staying, like, I'm, I'm going inside his earth box a lot more than I need to. This human form is no longer necessary. If I get the statues, I'll have absolutely nothing to fear. Had I gone for the amulet, that would have been a clear. Maybe, maybe it is still better to start with the amulet, because we sort of, uh... Just got a sort of free chance to hurt him at the start there with the amulet. Or not so much free, but... This human form is no longer necessary. If I get the statues, I'll have absolutely nothing to fear. Okay, new strategy. Don't bother with the jump slash. It takes way too much damage jump slashing through him. Just, just, just walk through him. <laughs> Never mind. I was being way too over. I was like, I was thinking like, we do the jump slash over so that I'm doing damage while I'm going through him and you know be more efficient about it. But no, <laughs> that, that was completely unnecessary. Another waifu for the harm? Oh, is she gonna get... Tries to interfere with my return will yep. suffer dearly. Don't get kidnapped. You like this? <laughs> Don't worry. She is not dead. Yet. Yet. If you want her to live, bring the four statues to my domain. What am I fighting for? Face. 
You're a hero in these parts. Adel? Where is Elena? Where is she? Got everything we need from the restock everything. Give me arm. Give me serum. I need all the drugs. Give me no. We didn't waste the mirror. Waste the amulet. Give me amulet. Give me ring power. I appreciate them trying to have a moment with Adol, like, oh my god, I couldn't save everybody. Adol, my boy, how can I thank you for all you've done? You had better give me those statues now. Your part is finished. What? Surely someone must go? But whoever goes may not return alive. You are still young. There are many things you haven't learned, my boy. Grady, let Adel go. He is not just a drifter. Adel is an adventurer. I'm sure he knows his life may be in danger, but there are some things that a man just can't back away from. You should have faith in Adel. Adel, then take this with you. It will be helpful in your fight. Okay. Oh, it's an item. What does it do? Ma Manuel! Manuel! What does he do? <laughs> this can be used as a flashlight? Really? Apparently that is that is not a mistranslation. That that is pretty much what it do. It it create light. Okay, fair enough. Matt Manuel was was uh, was correct. Couldn't shouldn't have doubted Manuel. Doubt we're returning to the village after this. This feels like the final stretch. 
because uh, I was just tossing up, do I want to save up the 50 grand for the, the other thingy? I'll buy the shield we're missing. For the sake of filling out the inventory. That one, that one slot that's missing is that, I'm going to assume that, uh, 50 grand, uh, thingy. Otherwise we are fully charged. Also, I was totally right when I said maybe that island. <laughs> oh no! Oh no, this... Oh god, what are you doing? Well, it's a boat. Are we... is this... Oh my! He didn't crash it! I'm curious. Okay. Do we have to rewatch it every time we come in? Okay, you do have to rewatch it every time you come in. It, uh, depending on how much cash money the things pay out here, we might, I might save up the cash for the thingy. I'm not quite sure on the, like, Demonicus thing, because the, uh, actual name of the thing is, is, uh, what's it, uh, Gal, Gal Blan? Is, is the, like, the actual name of the demon. Is it? Oof. Ah. Accidentally wasted an item, but the yeah, uh, that it really does create a light. It, it's not kidding. Cash money are these skeletons paying out? Uh, two hundred of these. Uh, that would be a very long grind. Hang it! There was a. There was a thing off to the left.
Is it just a dead end? Really? Are you serious? Oh, dang it. A good start. Wasting ring power to heal already. Actually, no, that, that is a huge waste. I'm gonna just... save like here. Interesting. That opens up after you go past it. As does that. Ah, curious. Tricky, tricky. The light really does not work well when you're coming from this side. Obviously, if you sort of knew where the holes were, you could, like, fly through this place. That was nasty. Trying to not take any damage. These enemies here aren't too, like, unrealistic to not take damage from, so... Did I... Are we looping? Hang on.
Was, were we supposed to? But there was no way forward down here, right? It was just these two guys hanging out down here. Oh, interesting. That's the title screen. It didn't, uh, it didn't reload our health. Interesting. The butt trick was much less effective. He bounces out rather than letting us zip straight. Ooh, fancy! It's, it's just shifting graphics, but it's uh, creating a 3D effect where there is no 3D. That's his sister, so I guess, yeah, that does make... Please, stay away! Elena! Let Elena go! She has nothing to do with this! Take me instead! What I need are those statues that Adolf has. I don't need you. Brother and sister dying together. What a nice image. All right, Edo. See what happens to those who oppose me. Whoop. Demonicus, prepare to die. I will avenge all those who died by your hand. Chester, don't. Why do you always turn to fighting? Why must there always be killing? Both you and Demanicus are living beings with emotions and feelings. Why? She trying to defend the demon. Elena, 
I know only too well. But this is the real world. If we don't kill him, he will kill us. If Demonicus is not killed, the human race may be destroyed. I hope you are finished with your goodbyes. Because now it is time to die. to the platform with the statues. Thunk. <laughs> Just thunk. Now begins my reign over the world. As my first act, I will give you a taste of my true power. Holy shit! Oh, the amulet does work. Oh, nice. Alpine? Okay, hang on. We have the anti-alpine ring. And we have lots of ring juice. This is awkward as fuck. It's extremely hard to actually like uh, get up and hit him. This is the, like the pulsing ground. First act, I will give you a taste of my true power. Oof, okay. That hurt lots. Alright, I'm just, I'm just... Basically wanting to, like, hold off from using the prot ring for as long as possible, so... Oh, I'm ringing. Uh... Give me a second.
Sorry about that. Now begins my reign over the world. As my first act, I will give you a taste of my true power. <laughs> This is not going well. Jesus. Oh. Wondering I go in with the power ring, maybe get some just like get as much damage in as quick as possible. Hmm. First act, I will give you a taste of my true power. <laughs> Does the mirror do anything to him? That's... Yeah, okay, I think the powering is definitely the go. I just need to not jump into the death lightning. Now begins my reign over the world. As my first act... I will give you a taste of my true power. <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to, like, eke out as much damage as possible, obviously, but then that's, yeah, also the, uh, the risk there. Because if we get him, like, very low, I can switch now over to the Protect my Ring. Reign over the world. As my first act, I will give you a taste of my true power. <laughs> God damn. Oh, me. Okay, I've got an idea. Well, he isn't free here, is the thing. This is. This is. Like, he needs to get the, uh. The statues from us to free himself.
Unless, uh, maybe. Over the world. As my first act, I will give you a taste of my true power. Uh, this is going terribly. He's <laughs> just popping every hit. See, so, like I can get him into like a uh sort of state where I'm I'm decently jumping his attacks. It's just yeah, that didn't go so well. Now begins my reign over the world. As my first act, I will give you a taste of my true power. <laughs> Ah, oh, dang it! I just pressed the button to bring up the menu. I was going to switch to the protectoring for the last of it. Yeah, I think I think I've got a somewhat viable strat. If I have d deal enough damage with the powering to be able to then finish him off with the protectoring once we get low. Begins my reign over the world. As my first act, I will give you a taste of my true power. <laughs> Yeah, that, that just, like, straight up kills you. <laughs> that was a bad start anyway, so... Now begins my reign over the world. As my first act... I will give you a taste of my true power. <laughs> I could, like, probably avoid the lightning on the attack if I did it, like, if I tried to think about it properly. Ooh, that's not good. Um... Did I get- Oh! You gotta be kidding me! I just- I need to get a good sort of opening damage round. 
begins my reign over the world. As my first act, I will give you a taste of my true power. Didn't even get him to half. Now begins my reign over the world. Unskippable cutscene is unfortunate, but at least it's short. I will give you a taste of my true power. Ugh, that's really terrible. Yeah, that was awful. It's ugh, it's really draining on the finger as well. <laughs> map some of the buttons now begins my reign over the world as my first act i will give you a taste of my true power <laughs> Dang it! That was going amazingly well until I cut the freaking lightning. Ah. Now begins my reign over the world. As my first act, I will give you a taste of my true power. <laughs> It's sort of, it, some of it seems to just be, like, the ground pattern, if you get, like, lucky with the ground pattern. Now begins my reign over the world. As my first act, I will give you a taste of my true power. God damn it. Now 
begins my reign over the world. As my first act, I will give you a taste of my true power. <laughs> Damn it. It's it's going to be safer to shield uh, prop ring through that attack but uh. Now begins my reign over the world. As my first act, I will give you a taste of my true power. <laughs> This is going terribly. Ugh. Ugh, I'm saying, like, you just get a bad floor pattern and you just get wrecked. You can't dodge anything. my reign over the world. As my first act, I will give you a taste of my true power. <laughs> Do not have a phase two. Do not have a phase two. Oh. My brother went to the center of the land of Demonicus. He is going to destroy all of it. Uh oh. No, Adolf, don't go. My brother says it's his fault. So he should be the one to deal with Demonicus. Adolf, please. Of course I care. We lived together for more than 17 years. I believe in my brother. I have faith. He will return. There is one thing I have to tell you. There is a legend in these parts that a long time ago, a brave young man locked Demonicus away. The village that my brother and I were born in was founded by the descendants of this brave man. King McGuire feared that his plans to bring back Demonicus would be in danger as long as these descendants lived. That is why he destroyed our village. My brother...
brother is the only one left who knows the secret that will crush the world of Demonicus. If Demonicus is to be put away for good, my brother must go. It's all right, Adol, as long as you understand. Damn. He did actually have to sacrifice himself to... Should we really leave so soon? Yes, it is best. Adel, I have some final things to do before we leave. Why don't you go on ahead? Must you really leave us? What is it that I may do for you, my boy? You may ask anything. Oh, -ho! that's an easy promise. There will be a rich and beautiful city here for your return. <laughs> Didn't know you had a voice what actor. Are you doing with all that luggage? Are you going on a trip? You sure are an early riser, Adol. What are you doing with all that luggage? Are you going on a trip? you could stay. Where is Dogi? Aren't you leaving together? Elena, are you sure? You'll never meet another fellow like Adel. Are you just going to let him go? <laughs> if I don't leave now, I won't be able to catch up with Adel. Well, Elena, this is goodbye. What is there for you out there? You should stay here with us. And we're gone.
She's calling you. What are you going to do? How can I ever thank you? I'll never forget what you've done. Your bravery, your kindness, your inspiration. Someday, Adolf, someday, I know that I'll be able to see you again. <sighs> Farewell, Adolf. His <laughs> journey has only just begun. Uh huh. Oh boy. There are plenty of games to go. Sort of vague ending text crawl this. The, the narrator was good. The, definitely the most quality of the voice actors there was the narrator. The rest felt just like they, you know, grab random people from around the office.
big, big props to the composer. Another, like, killer soundtrack. The whole game was just fantastic music-wise. Now, did we have more trouble against the Mace Knight or the final boss? Hmm. The final boss was definitely a lot trickier. The Mace Knight just required some very precise execution. Yeah, well, that, that was the thing. The Mace Knight, we, we yeah, basically perfect cleared. Um, whereas the final boss was a mess. Abusing the freaking Protect Ring. Giendo? Oh, to be continued! Not Giendo! It's, uh, yeah. I'm, yeah, leading into the next game, I assume. There's no way at this point that they wouldn't have known they were going to be doing more. Uh, the games had sold ridiculously well. I think it's a, a hard end screen, though. No button's actually doing anything. So, uh... <laughs> that is, that is indeed... Giendo! Um... Front Mission 2 Remake is next. Uh... Nah, nah, nah. We're not, we're not starting the remakes right away. Ne next for East will be East 4. I haven't decided on what version yet. I need to... Poke around a bit more. I think the Super Famicom version was the one I was... Uh... Uh, I need to I need to look into it more. I can't remember. There, there was a couple of different versions of East... Or... Um... Oh, there was, there was literally different versions of East 4. That was the problem, wasn't there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not just ports. It's actual straight-up different versions. Yeah. I need I need to do more research on, on East 4 because it's... Yeah, it's, it, that's the one that's Mask of the Sun or Dawn of East. I need to... I need to... Go through and check uh, which, which one uh, I actually want to go with. But yeah, I'll... I'll... I'll do my research on that but as i said next next thing we'll be covering on stream will be front mission 2 remake uh that'll happen tonight when it becomes available i still don't know the timings on that um vaguely tonight sometime maybe uh early in the morning it just depends on on yeah when it all comes together but yeah, next 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 thing we'll be doing is absolutely Front Mission 2 remake. Um but yeah, that's that's East 3 done. 
got it knocked out in under six hours, which is what I was hoping. So I'm actually quite pleased with that. Um, yeah. Alrighty. Thanks for watching, everyone, and hopefully I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.